Okay, good, good. This class this evening is for revision. So far, we've had three classes and we want to do revision on those classes. I'm sure some of us have gone through the class as in you've watched the videos, you have some questions and everything. See, I encourage we put questions in um, what this class is for is weekend review. I understand most of us are busy workers, as in we go to work Monday to Friday, and possibly even Saturday, we are just trying to squeeze out one hour for this class. But we make it one-on-one -on -one so that if you have any questions you want to ask from the previous class, from any other one, because we still continue every day, we still go along. But this Saturday class is for us to say, okay, well, I'm here. I want this thing I don't understand, or I don't understand what you're doing. So, so far, in the Telegram group, there's only just one question. One, there's a question there which I've, I've split out. So, course topics so far. These are the topics we've done over the week, the three topics. Introduction to agribusiness. We've done climate change and its effect on agriculture. We've done natural factors affecting crop production. I know some of us might be thinking, why is she doing, why is she going through all this? When I said I want to learn agriculture, Okay, you can hear me fine. Okay, the class is being recorded for those that miss it, they might have to go over it later. But I don't want to waste our time because we all know the effect of time. So, so now for these three classes, we've not had much questions, but I believe in the next, in the coming week, there'll be plenty of questions. But if you have any question on these topics, please ask. If you want to go into a Greek, this is where most people make a lot of mistakes. If you don't understand the basics, you just find out that, oh, at the end of the day, you won't make returns. I know a lot of us, me specifically, I've done trial and errors on the farm. And at the end of the day, it was zero level. You won't get any returns. So you need to understand these things. Climate change, most especially. You need to know the quantity of water for your crop. You need to know uh, the right when to plant. You need to know con pest control. These are the things we'll be discussing as a class moves along. And the factors that could allow your plants not to, not to grow. If you don't understand these things, believe me, you'll just be wasting money going into agriculture. Now, the question we have from the Telegram group, there are three questions. It said, I split it into three, yes. How can we measure? Sorry, if I'm too fast, just put it in the chat box to say, okay, slow down a bit. And the question from the Telegram said, how can we measure or know the amount of water our plant needs in a particular season? The second one said, how can we measure temperature? of an area in a particular season. And the third one, how can we know the temperature of our crops in a particular season? So I split them up and we're going to discuss them. The first one, how can we measure or know the amount of water our plant needs in a particular season? Number one, we all know plant needs water. There's no way you can plant without water. If you give your plant too much water, your plant will, uh, your plant will not do very well. If you give your plant little water or less than what is required, it will not do very well. So you have to know the average water your plant needs. And knowing the average water means you need to be very observant. For instance, if you are planting cucumber, for us that knows cucumber requires plenty water. If you are planting tomatoes, tomatoes need rationing water. Rationing means you have to ration the time when you give it water. If you give it consistent water too much time, your tomato, your your stems will start having problem. So these are things you really need to understand. When, you, when we get to tomato class, you will have to pay attention to that. Or when we get to cucumber class, you will need to pay attention to that cucumber planting. And depending on the crops you really, really favor, you have to pay much attention. Now, number one on deciding your water, checking your plant every day or two. I know this looks sounds so difficult. Most times I'll tell people, you can't plant, you can't have a farm and be at a far distance, especially if you are planting um, uh, short-time short crops. What I mean by short-time crops are, vegeta uh, are crops like that use three months, four months. Like if you are planting pepper, you know, it's just within three months, you start harvesting. Within that three months, you need to check the plants almost every two, two days. That's the minimum. 
every two, two days. So imagine if your farm is in Ogun State and you are staying in Lagos State or your farm is in Oyo State, you are staying in, a, uh, you know, so you can't farm from a distance, especially short time crop. Please note it. There's short time crops and there's long time crops. From what I'm discussing now, you can also take a pen and be writing out questions. Yes, from what we are discussing this afternoon, this evening, you can still write out questions to ask. So there are short-term crops, there are long-term crops. If you are planting short-term crops, you can't afford to be far to your farm because you are expected to be checking it every two, two days. Now, number two, know your plant water needs. I just mentioned and I said cucumber have plenty, need plenty water, while uh, tomato needs uh, uh, rationing water. What I mean by rationing is you have to ration it. Not that you just start pumping water to tomatoes. Doesn't need plenty of water, but you need to ration it. Likewise, maize. How do I know all these things? It's because I've been experimenting. I've been working with them on the farm. As in, I've planted all these crops. I, all of them I've planted at different times or the other. I've made some mistakes when, you know, and I try to research, okay, where did I go wrong? So you need to know your plant water needs. You can, one thing people, one, another thing where people really made mistake is they want to plant 10 crops at a time. They want to plant 10 crops at a time. You cannot plant different plenty crops at a time because the two or the one you want to plant, you need to massively study it, as in massively understand that crops. So you cannot plant 10 crops at a time. You need to, because you, it will take you time to study 10 crops. You need to, okay, it's two I want to take. You study them and understand them and so that you'll be able to maximize your profits rather than going here and there all the time. Now, poke your fingers into the soil. There's a system I use. If I want to check water, I don't, I put, I, I take stick. Once I give my crops water, especially with irrigation, especially, especially with irrigation, what I do is I pick a stick and then beside that plant, I'll dip the stick into the soil and see where it could go. See the depths at which it will go. And it's at that depth, I'll know, okay, the water has reached here then my crop, the water has reached the roots. Because if you are giving water to your plants and the water did not get to the roots, it will not, it will not do very well. Let me give you my instance. Sometimes about eight or 10 years, eight years ago, so I was planting tomatoes in dry season. <clears throat> I was planting tomatoes in dry season. And I was so sure, I was rationing water as in, I was giving it uh, one, one, uh, one tank of water for like 20 beds. You know, I was doing that, not knowing that that water was not getting down, down to the root of the crop. And because the water was not getting to the root of the crop, at the end of the day, I just saw the, the tomato start drying, the leaves. By the time I discovered the leaves are drying, the root is already dead. You understand? So you need to understand water system in your plants. You need to be able to check. What I use now is, I, like I said, I use stick. I'll just put the stick beside the plant, dip it down, see where the water level reached, then I bring it out again and know, okay, this is how my plant is. Now, use a moisture, moisture sensor. There's something called a moisture sensor. Once you put it down, you can use it to test water in your soil. So these are the ways by which you know the amount of water your plant needs in a particular season. So it's not something you can easily predict, but it's something you practicalize to understand it. Now, okay. So this is a moisture sensor. You just this one, this thing there, you put it deep into the soil, and then it will read and tell you, okay, this is the quantity of water in your plant, or this is the quantity of water you need in your this is the moisture sensor. Okay. So the second question. The second question said, how can we measure temperature of an area in a particular season? Okay, now how to measure temperature correctly? You use thermometer. We all know we use thermometer to measure temperature, but because this is a season, so how to measure temperature correctly? You place the thermometer five feet above the ground. The thermometer must be placed in the shade. Have good airflow for your thermometer. Then place the thermometer over a grassy or dead surface, keep the thermometer covered. So it's the thermometer that we use to measure 
temperature of an area in a particular. And then the, uh, the, uh, the, the area always shows the, sometimes farmers don't use thermometer. In our rural side, we don't use thermometer, but we just look at the season, the way the season is changing. For instance, in rainy season, we know the temperature used to go low. And in dry season, like this song, this hot season now, we know the temperature go very high. So we don't actually use thermometer. We just gauge the season by, you know, something we've been a, a kind of used to. Now, these are thermometers. I'm sure you must have come across it. Like, I think I, ha I have this one, at, this one at home, but I don't even normally use it anyway. So this is a thermometer that you can use. These are the one you put in the rain to check. And these are the weather, weather equipment to check the temperature of, of the area. Now, the third question, how can we know the temperature of our, crop, or our crops need? in a particular season, don't mind. Hey. Temperate and tropical climate. There are two types of climates and they determine the temperature. Temperate is the cold season, as in when, like for instance, if you are in, in Nigeria, most area in Nigeria is tropical season, but areas like Joss are temperate season. Now, how do they decide which plants survive there? When you plant a crop in any, any of the season, if it's a season that can tolerate temperate, it will remain, if it's a season that can, tolerate temperate, it will survive. But if it cannot tolerate it, no matter how you tried it, it will keep dying. Let me give you an example. Example, shear nuts. Shear nut, uh, nut is a crop that is being, shear nut is a crop that is grown in the tropical area of West Africa. That's shear nut is what we use to produce shear butter. This shear nut happens at the white people in USA and uh, in US, they've tried as much as possible to plant this tree in their domain, but the tree, but the tree refused, but the tree refused to germinate in their domain. The tree refused to germinate in their domain. You know, you can imagine they love the shear nuts. They have the processing machine. They want to put it in their domain, but it refused to germinate in their domain all, all, all year round. And so it's been a big challenge. So it's been a big challenge. So what I'm saying specifically is that any tree that survives trees or plants, not even only trees. Plants will survive in their region, wherever they fit. So if you plant the one that survive in temperate, in tropical, it will not survive. If you plant the tropical in temperate, it will not survive. So please, these are the things. These are the... <clears throat> so these are the... These are the way the plants survive in different seasons. These are the way the plants survive in different seasons. So these are the questions we have for today. I don't know if there's any other question. I don't know if there's any other question. If there are questions, please, you can pass it on in the chat box. So we attend to it. Questions from the previous class, questions from this class, questions from or any other concerns you might have. Let's have the question. Hello, class, are we still here? Yes, the class is being recorded. I recorded the class. I'll place it in the, in the, I recorded the class, so I'm going to put it in the, in the Telegram group, the link. I'm going to put the link in the Telegram group so that we can also have, we can, we can go over it if you come late or if you miss the class. Okay, somebody said this question is, a bit off topic. Okay, let's see if it's something we, I hope it's a Greek and I hope it's not something we just bring from anywhere, please. Okay, you said it's off topic. I hope it's agriculture, crop production. If it is, I will attend to it. Okay, let's see it. Okay, the, please, can I use pig dung that has been burnt as manure? Yes, but it's, yes, you can use it, but it needs to have been highly decomposed as in uh, pig, pig don't take longer time to decompose than every other, than every other uh, waste. So you need to, and for it not to burn your crop, you need to, it has taken longer years. Yes, you can use it, but make sure it has stayed for like, if possible, four, five, six months after decomposition. What I mean by decomposition, the burning, the drying, don't use a wet one or hence it will, it will, 
it, uh, it, it will destroy your crop, okay? I think I've answered that question. Please, do you have any other question again? Okay. You are welcome, sir. Yeah. If your question is crop related, even if it's um, anything crop related, I will attend to it. Even if it's something we've not talked about in the class, I will attend to it. Crop, please don't bring, don't bring uh, livestock, anything crop. I know livestock, but I'm, we are not treating livestock in this class. So anything crop related, please, let's have the question. If there's no question, we'll call the class a day. Then, like I said, this class is recorded. So if you miss it from the beginning, I'll put the link now. Immediately we leave here, I'll put the link in the Telegram group so that other people can go over it. And please, Saturday again, next week, Saturday, same time, we meet again. But by then, I expect us to have more questions. I have Zoom because this is just three days classes. That's why we don't have much question today. So I'm assuming next week we'll have plenty of questions. We didn't put the, this class every day because we understand our busy schedule. So next week, Saturday, we meet. But despite that, classes will be going on every day. So if there's no question, we'll meet next week, Saturday. Okay.